People pleasing. I want to have a word with you about people pleasing. Can you come over to my party next week? Yeah, I can. Can you help me with my project? Yeah, I can. Um, can you come over really quickly? I really need you. Yeah, I will. Doing good for others. It's not a bad thing. It's good. But how good is that for yourself and your health and your well-being? I want you to be happy, to live a freedom lifestyle. That's what all my videos are about. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my videos. But doing good all the time and good to everyone. And Okay, I used to be a people pleaser and I learned. I learned that I was just stressing myself and burning myself out saying yes, 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 yes to everything and everyone. So what can you do about that? How can you say no and still feel good and positive and happy about that? That's what I want to share with you and I actually have three key elements about that. Because you know that saying yes to all of the people around you and trying to make everyone happy, do you know the risks involved? The risks are being stressed, the, risk, the risks are not sleeping well because you're worried and you're thinking, oh, I have this and this and this and this to do. Being stressed about being overcommitted, lacking sleep, worrying too much. And worst case scenario, getting depressed. Trust me, it happens. So how can you say no and still feel good about that? Okay, number one, realize that if you say no, it does not mean that people are suddenly not going to like you anymore. It doesn't mean that people suddenly will not want you in their lives or suddenly not appreciate you anymore. And if they do, if they really make a drama of it that you're in, be upset that you're not helping them, then you might have to consider if that is a friend that you want to keep or not. Please do watch my videos about selecting your tribe around you. Who are the people you're surrounding yourselves to? Are these people helping you and giving you energy and motivating and inspiring you or are they draining you and always asking you all these things and if you say no, then they drop you like a bomb? Maybe you need to think who you want in your circle or not, right? But it doesn't change the fact that if you say no once, really it doesn't matter that people don't appreciate you or don't like you anymore. Number two, start with small no's. Start with small no's. Delay time a little bit. Say something like, um, yeah, I can, I can check if I can come over. Let me check and let me get back to you. Or, yeah, I can come to your party, but I can't stay that long. Or, let me just ask my partner and I'll, and I'll, and I'll talk to you again. Or, you know what, I'll, I'll just sleep on it and then I can answer you. So you stall time. You're not immediately saying the words no, which is really hard for you, I understand. But you're, you know, you're giving it a bit more time. Maybe in the meantime, people will then find somebody else to help them or find a solution. Just stall time. Just try these little no's. And then the biggest tip I have for you is number three. Saying no is saying yes to yourself, to your self-care to your mental health. Saying no is taking care of yourself and, and treating you well. And the way I can best explain that is think about you're 90 years old and you're reaching the end of life and you look back at your life. Whose life have you been living? Yours or somebody else's? Have you been pleasing others all of your life and not doing what you wanted? or not achieving your goals or dreams. You know, I live my life right now and for several years already, I started changing my life and changing that people pleasing when I realized, do I want to grow old thinking, what if I had done the things that I wanted to do? What if? And suddenly I started shifting and I thought, who are the people around me? Maybe I can say no. Maybe I can not attend 
a New Year's event with my family. And yeah, the first time it was awkward and I thought, oh, what are they gonna say? But guess what? I survived. And actually, it was not such a big deal. So you can say no. Try with these small no's. But try to constantly think about which life am I living here? Mine or somebody else's? You have to take charge of your life. You are responsible for your life. You are living your life. Nobody else's life. So take charge of your life and take that responsibility in your life. The only person I want you to please is yourself. Please take care of yourself. Grow, learn, develop yourself. So tell me, try this out. Try a few things out and let me know in the comments what came out of that. I'm really curious. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my videos and achieve the life that you want. I'll see you in the next video.